Your ring's too small. Don't worry, ring expansion fixes that. Let's do an example. The next step is our ring expansion, which is a type of rearrangement. The reason it's gonna be a ring expansion is because of this four-membered ring. This has to change. The reason why it has to change is a four-membered ring has so much strain. And to release the strain, we have to make this into a larger ring. So let's do that. To make this easier, I'm gonna number it. So let's say this carbon here is number one. This carbon here is two, three, four, and five. What happens in a ring expansion is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna make the ring even bigger. We're gonna expand it. So in this case, it's this bond that's breaking and connecting with carbon one. So I'll show that, showing that arrow. Now we're gonna form a larger ring. So we are gonna go from a four-membered ring to a five-membered ring. Let me number this again to show you where everything goes. It's easy in this case to tell that carbon one has that methyl group. So I can just state, okay, it had to have been here. That's carbon one. Another note is carbon two had that OH. So okay, that had to have been carbon two. Then I can just keep going. This is three, four, and five. So notice it's carbon one and five that are connecting together to form that new bond. So that's what's helping with the ring expansion. Just by knowing that, you are ahead of the curve. So keep staying ahead by checking out more of my videos.